All right, so day two of pulling the motor. Austin came to help us. Woo! Amanda is videoing me while videoing her while videoing me. She's going to help video us pull the motor. So there was a lot that we did. Um, it was all underneath, and obviously we're not working on a lift, so it wasn't going to be enjoyable to uh, see. So we just went ahead and did it, didn't film. But now we are going to be pulling out the motor. Once the motor is out, I'll give you a quick little tour of the things that we're going to change, that we're going to do. And um, so here's a time lapse of us pulling. because we can't get the shifter off the bolt stripped on top so as you just saw the engine is out I'm so excited this is a big step and we are a little bit late but we're getting closer and closer to being on schedule so I'll just show you around here so uh, how, here's the engine right here we just have it placed here for tonight we're gonna get that separated up on a stand and uh, here is the engine bay so um, I had a fitting over here break and spray oil halfway through the season. We cleaned up as best as possible. And then I had a motor mount go bad. Um, one of the last uh, rounds that I drove and it actually hit the fitting for the turbo return, which I'll show you right here. It actually hit this fitting right here and it put a hole which you can see there it's kind of been dripping down it put a hole right around where the weld is so that continued to leak and got this all nasty so my plan is to pressure wash the engine bay tie up a lot of electrical and different thing uh, I have like here's the boost gauge vacuum line some electrical coming out here I want to go ahead and close these holes up um, that way in case of a fire or a coolant leak or anything like that, it's not coming into uh, the, the compartment there. So my plan is to get those uh, welded up and we are going to be doing a brake mass or brake booster delete kit. So I have the GK Tech bracket with the Willwood master and then we're going to go ahead and do um, the proportioning valve. So it's going to be an awesome setup uh, for for the brakes as well. So all that will be gone. Um, you'll just be able to see the, the master with the reservoir. And then I want to go ahead and sand all this and repaint it. Sand the whole bay. Paint it down. Uh, sand it. 
paint it, not paint it down, I don't know what I was saying, but go ahead and paint the bay, that way it looks nice and pretty. I haven't decided on a color, um, whether to do the interior color, that way that we can see any grit or grime or anything that's spraying or oil or anything like that. With it being black, it was kind of hard. Um, or just to go ahead and go back with black, that way it looks clean, lets the motor pop. Um, but definitely, first thing to do is to pressure wash. It is disgusting. So that is first on the books. Once again, thank you so much for watching. This is a big step getting the engine out and I'm so excited for what's to come. A huge shout out to my brother Austin. I'll list his Instagram right here below. Go ahead and check him out. He has an awesome project going on. It's an S14. It's called Project El Jefe. And he just bought an awesome new daily that is like bone stock. Really cool S14. So go ahead and show him some love and check him out there. Uh, he came out tonight and uh, we just thrashed on this thing and got it done. But it is a huge step and I'm super excited. Uh, to to get this engine bay sanded down get it painted uh, we're gonna weld up a few spots but other than that should be a pretty simple process and um, so excited about the new brake booster that we're gonna be putting in as well first step is definitely to get this thing pressure washed it is so nasty so we'll be getting uh, the pressure washer out and getting it cleaned up our goal for this season is to be not only performing well with the powertrain, which it is proven, and it was running great when we pulled it out, so we're not going to change anything with the internals or the setup, but we are going to uh, go ahead and try to look uh, a lot more put together in the terms of style. So we really want to, uh, you know, have the engine bay painted nice, the outside of the car painted nice, refresh the inside. There's a lot of loose bits that have been left alone, like the doors are not painted, so we want to, the insides of the doors, so we want to get those painted and just have everything look like it's put together and be put together. That's our, that's our main goal, so thank you so much for watching. We